Jeremy Knight. Welcome in this morning. Good morning. And I want to say a special oh, hi to your mom. Oh, hi, mom. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, you probably should too. So. And uh, as we bring you in this morning, um, what's on your mind today? I know we have uh, stirred the pot with a variety of things lately. By the way, the uh, hydration went over very well with a lot of people I know. Oh, good. So they good. Are Great. Great. Paying attention to that. Well, I'm, cl- I'm glad you have people paying attention because I, I think, obviously, what we talk about I think is important. True. So but today uh, it's pretty much uh, geared toward men, though, right? It, it's geared toward men, but uh, women need to listen, too, because the, the same kind of issues that men have with this, women have as well, and that's low testosterone. It's on my mind because I'm seeing it in patients recently, and mm-hmm. it can make a remarkable difference, especially in elderly men who are just struggling to get around. So that's why I thought we should bring this up. So we naturally have this in our bodies, but I assume that it starts to uh, deteriorate or Yeah, there's a gradual less. decline. Um, probably starting from the age of uh, 40, uh, 30 or 40, there's a slow decline. You don't really feel it until it catches up with many men in their late 40s, early 50s. And uh, there's a lot of reasons for it. Um, one, one of the main reasons, I, I call it the four Ps, uh, uh, plastics in the environment, pesticides, pollutants, and processed foods. And all of those can interrupt uh, normal testosterone production. Um, things that help testosterone are, are, are weightlifting and resistance training. Anything that stimulates muscle growth will, will stimulate testosterone synthesis and then adequate sleep, good quality sleep, deep sleep. I had this conversation with somebody yesterday who's a swing shift worker and uh, all, never able to get more than three or four hours of sleep, and this is 20 years of this type of a routine, and testosterone levels are going to be low. And so men are going to struggle. But women can have the same problems. Uh, Women notice it with a decrease in strength and stamina, as do men. Um, It's usually easy with men because we talk about libido. And libido is really just a testosterone issue for men. Women, it's much more complicated. But uh, if a woman loses her libido, it's often uh, at least partly to blame that their testosterone level is low. But it's amazing how quickly a man can turn around with testosterone. And um, when you measure it and you see these low levels and you give them testosterone, it makes it makes a huge difference. Now, is there a way that to develop this uh, naturally? You talked about weightlifting other than, you know, taking the right. pills or whatever it is the, that the you anabolic, usually don't like. Yeah, the anabolic steroids. And you can get different forms of testosterone sort of on the black market. You have to be careful with that. And most most the uh, bodybuilders, weightlifters that use that, uh, they, they're very knowledgeable. Most of them are. Um, and so they're careful with it. But you have to be careful because you can get a poor product and or you can get a contaminated product. Mm-hmm. That's the risk and the danger of black market testosterone replacement but every pharmacy carries testosterone uh, as an injection uh, and then compounding pharmacies carry it as a cream that can be applied on a daily basis so uh, but it's amazing that low testosterone levels are associated with dementia prostate cancer heart disease stroke um, high levels of the bad LDL cholesterol blood clots, um, accelerated aging, and that visceral fat, that belly fat, that gut that men Mm -hmm. develop uh, can either be caused by low testosterone or develop when men uh, have low testosterone. So what you see are symptoms of fatigue, decreased stamina. And when I say decreased stamina, it really has to do with your attitude about exercise or activity. if you know it's time to cut the grass, but you just you can do it, but you really don't want to get out and do it, that could be a sign of low testosterone. So, and and the fact that maybe you have a gym in the basement or you have a gym membership, but you just never feel the the uh, the urge to go, you lost that competitive edge. Like, I'm going to go and I'm going to work hard. Mm-hmm. That's a sign of low testosterone. Uh, insomnia, joint pain, anxiety, depression, um, and and uh, an elevation of your bad cholesterol. Those are all signs or symptoms of low cholesterol. I'm sorry, low testosterone. So you can see that it's really uh, a lot of middle-aged men have many of these symptoms and they're wondering, you know, what's wrong. And and they just attribute it to old age. I'm getting older and this is how you're supposed to feel. So when they come to you or go to a doctor, um, are they searching and thinking something else is wrong and have to be told that it's low T? Um, 
yes, they're searching, and they're and mo- that's why I want to talk about it because most men don't think that they have a testosterone issue. They're just thinking I'm taking too many medications. That's why I'm tired. I'm stressed. I'm not sleeping. But they don't realize that testosterone replace can, replacement can make a huge difference. So with hormones, there's a difference between a normal level and an optimal level. You can follow no- normal range. But you can be very deficient in uh, the testosterone molecule in your cells. So when you see low levels in the blood and then the men are telling you symptoms to suggest low testosterone, then you replace it and you just sit back and watch the miracles occur because it, it can be really quick. And, and they'll tell you within a week or two, their, their, their drive to exercise is back, their joints hurt less, they sleep better, their libido is up, they want to do more physically, they're less irritable, less depressed. It can be a pretty rapid uh, change. I had a patient in the hospital uh, a while back who had a, a, a joint replacement surgery and he was just struggling. He, he was there in rehab longer than he should have been, just not making progress, no motivation. And I checked his testosterone. It was extremely low. Wow. So we gave him a shot. And three days later, he was up and doing things. And he was out of the hospital. I mean, it turned him around. And his mindset for therapy just was through the roof. He couldn't get enough. And it made all the difference. It's like a mental energy boost. It really is. And, you know, again, if you look at what our bodies are doing, it's sort of at our peak, at our prime, in our you know mid-20s, early 30s. And you look at an athlete, why do they why do they why are they able to perform so well? Mm-hmm. Men and women both, it has to do with testosterone. So there's nothing wrong with trying to reestablish those mid-20 ranges of testosterone. It doesn't mean everything in your health is going to return to that that age right. period. But when you start feeling better and, you, and you're excited about the gym and you have more energy and stamina, that's what I think all of us want. So it can make a big, big difference. Is there a way to maintain a at least a normal level with the uh you know, the lifestyle? Well, that's a great question because, you know, a lot of people don't want to do, you know, take testosterone replacement. Um, But the answer is is, uh, weight loss, getting rid of that gut. That belly is very inflammatory. And uh, actually, uh, estrogen-like compounds that are bad from the environment uh, are stored in that belly fat. And those estrogen-like compounds come from plastics, pesticides, processed foods, and pollutants. So you want to lose that fat and get rid of those things that block testosterone production. Secondly, you want to exercise to the point, it's not just going through the motions at the gym, it's exercises that cause your muscles to get sore. Not that you're hurting yourself, but you're exercising right. And after a couple of weeks in the gym, many people aren't sore anymore. Well, then it's time to change the routine. You know, up the resistance, up the up the reps, uh, change the angle of the exercises, try a new exercise. So uh, lose the gut, exercise, and good quality sleep because we make testosterone when we're in deep sleep. If you have sleep apnea or you're on swing shift and you're not getting deep sleep or you're stressed and you're not getting deep sleep, you don't make testosterone well. So those are the three natural ways to do it. All right. So what else? What do you got to tell us then? Anything? Don't drink bottled water out of the plastic. <laughs> well, I think you know we we it's it's hard to it's hard to eliminate all these exposures, but we should at least be aware of them and do the best we can. It's amazing to to me that men's sperm count has dropped fifty percent in the last fifty years, and when you look at at their sperm counts and you look at testosterone levels and the obesity rates, we're seeing a ten percent increase in obesity every decade. So the, if you follow that chart, it's expected that by 2080, all of us, if we're still here, will be obese. That's the trend. And some of this has to do with low testosterone and these exposures and, and the fact that we're always eating fast food, we're not exercising because we're so busy. And all these things combined, you know, they, they challenge our health and they make us feel awful. And, and then our quality isn't good. So I've, I've been on hormone replacement since I was 48, and I feel like physically I'm stronger now than I've ever been, and I'm setting goals to get stronger and stronger. So I think it makes a difference. But you can't take you, – you can, you can get a boost from testosterone initially. In the first three or four weeks, you'll mm-hmm. feel incredible. If you don't act on that, if you keep eating junk food and you don't exercise and don't do anything, it's, it's going to be a waste because you're not going to – 
get the benefits of it that you're looking for. So you have to act on it. Like the diets that don't work, right? Exactly. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> we can talk about it all we want, but until we put it into action, no results are going to be appreciated. All right. Hey, well, thanks a lot. This is a good update. I appreciate Let's that. Let's go do some push-ups. I, I, I'm thinking about it, but all right. I <laughs> appreciate that. Thanks a lot. Okay. Dr. Tim McKnight this morning as we talk with the doc, brought to you by Mako's. Mako's Pharmacy offers their customers and community free assistance with comparing and selecting a plan based on your specific prescription needs. Call Mako's Pharmacy at 740-922-5400.